This is Chateau Clément, a charming hotel in the middle of the Ardèche region. The beauty of this part of France is breathtaking. The countryside is hilly, with large parts covered with superb trees. I am invited by the Confrérie de la Châtaigne de l'Ardèche, the local chestnut association, for a walk in an old wild chestnut forest. This group, made up of chestnut growers, chefs, pastry chefs and professionals who transform chestnuts in dozens of ways, aims at promoting this ancient superfood. Cette châtaigne, c'est aussi l'emblème de notre département de l'Ardèche, puisqu'elle est présente ici sur le territoire depuis plus de 8000 ans. Et donc, tout au fil des siècles, elle, a, elle est restée comme étant euh, la définition de l'arbre à pain de l'Ardèche. Nearby, in Aubenas, at Sabaton, an artisan confectioner has for more than a century transformed the fresh nut into delicacies, including the marron glacé and confit chestnut that are a very popular treat. I have been invited by Patrick Veller to watch the making of the exquisite chestnut spread that I have used in many desserts over the years. The cooked, crushed and peeled nuts are transformed to a meal before being combined into a vanilla syrup. The resulting sweet puree is then cooked to a specific texture that is confirmed by the reading of the sugar level. The spread is then tinned or tubed, ready to be consumed. The chestnut crib in the tube has become very popular with cyclists because you have a little bit of it and it gives you lots of energy. I feel better already. In France, the marron glacé is a popular gift when visiting friends or for Christmas, and they are always beautifully packaged. It is so delicious. It reminds me of my youth. Christmas, c'est la France. This chocolate cream with glacé chestnut and raspberries is to die for. First, I hit 60 milliliters of milk and 80 milliliters of cream in a saucepan. I pour the preparation over 100 grams of the super Valrona cooking chocolate and stir until very smooth. It is a chocolate used by many of the world's top chefs. Next, I pour the chocolate cream into four molds. I top with five small pieces of glacé chestnuts and allow to cool. I fill the cavity of some raspberries with a little raspberry jam and dust with icing sugar. Just before serving, I decorate the chocolate preparation with the raspberries and a whole glacé chestnut. This crème au chocolat et marron glacé aux framboises is simply too good. The delicate chestnuts are also used in many cakes and pastries, and Didier Laurent, a talented pâtissier, takes pride in his beautiful creations. The Lou Pizadou is a great chestnut cake created by the local pâtissiers with a sweet pastry base inside full of pieces of chestnut and a cream and on top a delicious almond meringue. Tomorrow I am in the attractive Rhone Valley to discover its great gastronomy. <laughs> <laughs>